what do you got in store for us now? Got to get Monster Red up and running. Yeah, for sure. I want this thing built in 48 hours, and by the end of day two, I want it maxed out, running all that pay out of Rally Valley. So we're going to be running around like our pants are on fire for the rest of the year. <laughs> so Nothing new. And we're going to keep the plant simple, no tailings conveyor, no long, no big long feed conveyor, nothing like that. So I've got this massive Elris feeder. It's capable of like 800 tons an hour. It's literally twice the size yeah. of the one that we had last year. That's sweet. It's going to give us everything we need to be over 300 yards an hour legitimately. Right, we got All a lot right. of work to do. <laughs> yeah, we do. All right. Cables are short and that chute's sticking out in a way that won't allow me to get any real lift on it. We need to, it, all I need to do is get it up. Get it to ride up on top again. The heavy new chute is stopping Rick from getting enough lift on the tow. So we're gonna re-rig around that beam and that's part of the frame so that should be strong enough. All I need is to get it up, riding up on top of the dirt again, rather than digging in. Monster Red, it's a half a million dollar plant. I'll kill everybody if this thing breaks. Like, there's no one getting out of here alive. I'll dig a giant hole, I'll bury it, and I'll bury everybody on site with it. Okay, go straight up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just bent that front frame in there. No, really? The resurrection of Monster Red is flatlining. Like, it's just that cross beam. Let me, uh... Um... What if we just try and hook that one outside strap? You know what I mean? And then you might be able to just pull it up on the ground here? Yeah. To avoid any more damage, Brennan replaces the strap with a single cable attached to the base. Go up. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Yeah, keep going, gentle. Go real gentle, a little bit more. I think we get the two hooked up, it'll be good. Okay. Let's go hook the other one up. There you go. Watch that shoot. Yeah, you're good. Woo. That's probably about where you want it. We're finally just getting the sluice runs hooked up here. We're going to walk into the wash plant. Looking good. This is the last sluice box that's got to get put in place. This is the nugget sluice. We've never actually used this on the plant before. These things are all set. They're in place. Well done, boys. Rick just needs his new hopper feeder to arrive before Monster Red's reborn to run the richest pay dirt he's ever mined. It's crunch time right now. Uh, the leaves have all changed already. We uh, are running out of time quick. Rick Ness is racing to bring wash plant Monster Red back to life so that he can finally start running the nugget-rich Rally Valley pay dirt. The final piece is a new 66-foot-long hopper feeder. I want to get up here, too. Capable of moving 400 yards of dirt an hour allowing Rick to run Monster Red four times faster than his old wash plant. 
it's capable of keeping up with Monster Red and then some. That's a piece of equipment that I can grow into. That's <laughs> huge. <laughs> Go time. Let us get this done. I mean, these things are made to be moved with a, you know, a semi tractor, which I don't have, and so these are the chain and an excavator. This make me nervous. as You're gonna have to lift that conveyor with the loader. Kyle must lift the feed conveyor on the hopper, so as Rick edges it toward Monster Red, it will perfectly align with the pre-wash. Don't it up, Kyle. I'm on it. It looks good, doesn't it? It does. It made me think like all we've been doing is putting money, at, throwing money at this thing for what, the last couple of years? It's just kind of been a big dumpster for money. And so I uh, kind of thought I'd rename it the Monster Gold Dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways, it's ready to roll. And we've got a huge mountain of pay to run through it. Yeah. So let's fire it up and see what Rally Valley has to offer, right? Hell yeah. Go time. see what that deep cut has to offer. Two years after being destroyed, Monster Red is alive. Running 300 yards an hour of Rally Valley's nugget-rich pay. You know, this is the moment we've been waiting for the whole season to get this wash plant set up down here and start making us some real money. Rick is now one step closer to 2,000 ounces and joining the big leagues. It's all coming together. It's been a stressful month, not sluicing, but all that's about to change. <laughs> 